Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we were going to talk about one of the most talented and versatile actresses of our time, Emily Brown. Known for her exceptional acting skills, Blunt has captivated audiences with her performances in a variety of movies. So without any further delay, let's take a look at Emily Blunt's top 10 movies of all time. Starting off at number 10, Sunshine Cleaning, released in 2008. In this indie comedy drama, Blunt played one of the lead roles as a woman who starts a biohazard removal or crime scene cleaning service with her sister. Blunt's performance was both humorous and pregnant, showing her range as an actress. Okay, I'm sorry. I know that you think that I ruined everything and that I fucked up really huge and I'm sorry, okay? You know what I don't get? Nora, is that I ask you to do one thing. I can't even ask you to do one thing without you messing it up. I mean, Jesus, Nora, it's not like I don't have enough to deal with in my own life. Number 9, The Girl on the Train, 2016. In this psychological thriller, Blunt played the role of an alcoholic who becomes entangled in a missing person's investigation. Blunt's performance as raw, vulnerable, and nuanced, earning her critical acclaim. I'm here because I... Because I, I woke up um, covered in blood and I had, I had bruises all over my arm and um, it's usually from when I've fallen and someone's helped me up. Number 8, Looper, 2012, Blunt played the role of a protective mother in this sci-fi action movie where time travel is used for assassination. Blunt's performance was understated but effective, making her character one of the most memorable in the film. Get off my farm. You couldn't scare a retarded hobo with that thing, literally. This is a Remington 871. Yeah, that's telling. You're holding a gun. I say I'm not afraid, so you describe the gun to me. It's not the gun I'm not afraid of. You're gonna do shoot in the air? Try to scare me? Go ahead. You wouldn't let me die. You're not gonna kill me. Oh, so now I saved your life, that makes me weak? Okay. Number 7, The Young Victoria, released in 2009. In this historical drama, Blunt played the role of Queen Victoria, depicting her early years as a monarch and her relationship with Prince Albert. Blunt's performance was graceful, elegant, and emotionally resonant. Uh, may I present her role? Hello. Huh? I'm Ernst, ma'am. This is my brother, Albert. I hope we haven't interrupted your studies. No, not at all. Number 6, Into the Wood, 2014. In this musical fantasy, Blunt played the baker's wife who longs to have a child. Blunt's singing and acting were praised and she showcased her versatility as an actress by flawlessly portraying the complex emotions of her character. 53, 54. Hello, your royal highness. Well, hello. <laughs> hello again. We've met before, actually. Yes, of course. Yes. You must be here to slay the giant. Number 5, Mary Poppins Returns. In this musical fantasy, Blunt played the iconic character of Mary Poppins, a magical nanny who returns to help the Banks family once again. Blunt's singing, acting, dancing were all top notched, making this film a must watch for fans of the original. Who oh, listen to the three of you? You're all worrying far too much. After all, you can't lose what you've never lost. I don't understand. Well, do you ever lie awake at night? Number 4, Stereo, 2015. Blunt played the role of an FBI agent who is enlisted to fight against the drug cartels at the border of the United States and Mexico. Her character's moral dilemma and inter-conflict were portrayed brilliantly, earning her critical acclaim for her performance. Morir. 
fuck are we doing? Number 3, Edge of Tomorrow, 2014. In this sci-fi action movie, Blonde is third alongside Tom Cruise as a skilled soldier who helped him in his battle against an alien invasion. Blunt's character was tough, determined, and badass, and she delivered a memorable performance. I'm sorry. I'm trying to save you. We're getting slaughtered. You need to get us off this beach. <laughs> Number 2, Quiet Place 2018. In this horror thriller, Blonde is starred alongside her husband John Krasinski as a mother trying to protect her family from a deadly creature that hunts by sound. Blonde's emotional and physical acting in this film was nothing short of outstanding. And on number 1, The Devil Wears Prada. Released in 2006, Emily Blunt's breakthrough role where she played the role of the snobbish fashion assistant Emily Blunt's portrayal was spot on and she managed to steal the show despite being a supporting role. I have an appointment with Emily Charlton. Andrea Sachs. Yes? Great. Human resources certainly has an odd sense of humor. <laughs> Follow me. Okay, so I was Miranda's second assistant, but her first assistant recently got promoted, and so now I'm the first. Oh, and you're replacing yourself. Well, I am trying. Miranda sacked the last two girls after only a few weeks. We need to find someone who can survive here. Do you want and that's a wrap for today's video. We hope you enjoyed our list of Emily Blunt's top 10 movies of all time. Which one is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.